Hello guys and happy Wednesday. My name is Emily Jean if you have not been here before and today we are finally back at the vanity. This is insane to me and to be honest I just filmed this intro and the footage got deleted so I'm refilming it so it's like hard for me to put this back in words. It feels so crazy to be sitting here again with my camera, with my ring light, with my whole setup, with all my makeup in front of me and talking to you guys just one-on-one. -on -one. If you guys did not know, all the month of December I did do Vlogmas, which is where you vlog from December 1st all the way until Christmas the 25th. So I was vlogging every single day, posting every single day. A few times I was late on uploading, but with that being said, all 25 vlogs are on my channel right now if you guys want to catch up on those or watch those to see what I was doing during the holiday times and all of that kind of stuff. Honestly, I'm so over vlogging for a little bit. Like, I need time just to get into my makeup, to get in some videos with you guys, some more fun, unique, and happy videos, and then maybe we'll get back into vlogging later in 2019. And also, if you guys did not know, on Monday I posted just kind of like an update goals 2019, just sweet little video, just to kind of kick off the new year to start my channel up again, because after Vlogmas the 25th, I did take a quite a long break, um, and I talk about that more in the video that I posted on Monday. So if you guys want to watch that, I'll put it up here for you guys. But now it's Wednesday and we are getting right into the makeup. We're just going to do like an everyday makeup tutorial using some newer products that I don't think I've shown in use on my channel. I do want to disclaim that I do have another everyday makeup tutorial on my channel. It's probably from about six months ago. I believe it was in the summertime. I'll link that up here as well. It's still a very relevant video, but the disclaimer that I want to make is that the comments in that video um, are kind of attacking the everyday makeup tutorial title because that is what I titled it. One, you guys have to understand YouTubers title things for a reason and I didn't want to just do like some type of tutorial because it is a very basic makeup look. Do I wear that makeup look every single day like the title says? No. Do I even wear makeup every day? No. Do I wear that much makeup every time I put on makeup? No. But it is a very simple something that could be an everyday look whether it's a lot of makeup or not a lot of makeup and again of course makeup is preference. There are so many preferences within the beauty world in general. Something that's full glam and crazy might be someone's natural and someone's natural might be someone's full glam. So it just kind of depends on who you are. So just take that while you guys watch this video. I'm more of a full glam girl. I like my full foundation. I like my concealer. Um, but I also do like natural makeup too. So it just depends. I also have a few videos on my channel with natural makeup if you guys are into that. And I'm sure I'll be filming plenty more throughout the year. So I just got a spray tan yesterday. So if you see some harsh lines, that's why I love the color. I think it's really, really pretty. If you guys live in the Detroit metro area, um, it is a spray tanning girl that comes to your house. So she's mobile, which is really, really cool. I will leave her Instagram down below if you guys want to check it out. I posted it on my story on Instagram if you guys saw that. Um, but yeah, just don't mind the little bit of harsh lines and stuff since your hands kind of get a little bit darker than the rest of your body quickly so that will fade soon. Anyways, that's enough chatting. That is enough chatting. Let's get on with the makeup. First, I need to tie my hair back because y'all know that is one of my biggest pet peeves is when people do their makeup with their hair down. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. For primer, I am using the Flesh Beauty Primer. This stuff is so good. I have not stopped using it ever since I picked it up. It's a very glowy, hydrating primer, and it's a nice, like, gel consistency, and it al almost has, like, a duochrome look to it. It doesn't make it look like that on your face, but it's such a nice, smooth primer. I feel like this is a good one for all skin types, and it really helps with everything. It helps with smoothing, it helps with illuminating, it helps with hydrating, um, and I just love it. So I literally put this all over my face. If you're looking for something a little more extreme pore filling and mattifying, this will not be for you, but just for an everyday nice prep to your skin, I love this one. Next for foundation, I have been loving this foundation recently. I did a huge Ulta haul in one of my vlogs during Vlogmas. I don't even remember which one. I'll put it up here if you guys want to see what I bought. Um, but these were featured in it. I wanted to try the Makeup Revolution um, Conceal and Define Foundation. And actually I picked up the concealer first because this has been very comparable to Tarte Shape Tape. And then I picked up this and I saw there's matching foundation so I had to get both. Anyways, that's what we're going to be using today. I'm in the shade F10, I believe. Yes. 
F10. This is the shade I use when I'm fake tanned, so just keep that in mind. It is a more dark color. This isn't the color I would use on my natural skin tone, and this actually might even be too light. My tan is pretty dark today, so... I'm just dotting this all over my face. It has this nice big like doe foot applicator. Some people hate it for hygienic reasons, but I love it. I think it's super easy, fast, and I think it spreads out the foundation nicely just to have a quick application. Um, I'm also going to take that down my neck just to make sure everything's blending well. And of course, my tried and true Real Techniques beauty sponge. I'm going to blend this all out. But yeah, I love this foundation. I feel like it has a really high coverage and just the formula, like the overall consistency is perfect. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. The color's really great. I like the packaging. It's cheap. Let's be clear with that. It's a very inexpensive product and I have been loving it. You can wear it pretty light or you can build it up. So both work and I also got the Makeup Revolution stick foundation if you guys want to see a video on that I will do that one as well that's definitely more full coverage and I love it as well okay now going in with concealer again this is the Rev Makeup Revolution conceal and define full coverage conceal and contour um, I'm in the shade C7 and this concealer is great I like the big doe foot on here. It's very thick and full coverage. I would compare it to Tarte Shape Tape, but I feel like Tarte Shape Tape is a little bit more drying, not in a bad way. Sometimes I want that drier consistency. So if you guys have had a problem with that with Tarte, uh, maybe try this one. Or if you just don't want to spend so much money on a concealer, I believe this one is like, I want to say under 10 bucks, which is amazing. So just putting that under my eyes and my highlighted areas. Again, taking my beauty sponge and blending this out. Alright, now that that is blended out, to set the under eye in my T-zone, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is just like a travel size one. I only like to use a little bit of this stuff. And set under my eyes, my chin, and just kind of those areas that I had the concealer at. So, I want you guys to comment down below what your plans are for today or what your plans are for whatever day you're watching this on. I have already gotten quite a bit done. Like I said, I went to the gym this morning and I went to the post office, dropped off a bunch of stuff that I was selling on my Instagram, which by the way, I now have a Poshmark closet. So if you guys want to shop my closet, I sell a bunch of old purses, shoes, clothes, bathing suits, lots of bathing suits for super inexpensive. Some of them aren't even used. Some of them are used, but you're getting them for such good deals, like $20 shoes and like 10 buck bikinis. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll link that down below. You guys can shop my closet. It is all up and running um, because I've been selling stuff on my Instagram story, which obviously works, but I was like, okay, I'm going to get into selling more of my stuff just because I get so much stuff sent to me and I buy a lot of things and only wear them for a couple days or for a shoot or for something like that. I don't use my stuff as much as I should and it's just sitting around in my room. So finally I'm getting in the habit of actually putting stuff in my Poshmark instead of just on Instagram because I'm able to like kind of post things on there more frequently um, yeah so check it out next I'm going in with this morphe bronzer I am obsessed with this I grabbed this like on my way to check out at Ulta it was in the little like mini section this is the I'm just gonna show you because I don't know how to pronounce this or if that's the shade name or if that's the bronzer name I'm not really sure but it's just a morphe individual bronzer. I'll link it down below. This color is so pretty It's so pigmented. I just I love it and I love how just it's just a tiny little compact It's so simple. I'm taking it on this morphe m505 brush. It's like an angled haired brush and I'm just gonna contour my face it is pretty dark um, I even use this when I do have my natural skin tone with no fake tan on and I just use a really light hand it is super pigmented so be careful you want to tap off your brush and make sure you're only using a little bit at a time but I think the tone of this and just how it blends out is so pretty and I honestly think this will work for like quite a variety of skin tones whether you're pale just use a lighter hand or all the way to like a medium deep shade it has that pigment so yeah i'm just applying this to my nose obviously my cheekbones i like to put it under my lip 
and then also some up on my forehead and temples into my hairline but yeah like I said just comment down below what you guys, what are you guys doing today do you have to work are you in school where do you work at are you hanging at home do you have something to do with your family hanging out with friends I'm curious I like hearing from you guys it's really interesting to like hear your side of things and what's going on <laughs> See how like just bronzy and beautiful that makes you look? I'm also going to put it under my chin and jawline. Also, I've been scheduling out my videos. I'm posting like pretty much for the entire month. I have a few days not planned yet. Guys, let me know what you guys want to see. I've posted it on my Instagram, but obviously I feel like not everybody follows me on Instagram. So comment down below what videos you want to see from me. I'm just bronzing up my decollete and booby area. But yeah, let me know. I love some unique videos. If you guys want to see a certain product or a review, a certain makeup look, just let me know. Alright, next I'm taking the same bronzer. And again, this is why I love this stuff because it's just so easy to use every day. And I'm taking a nice big fluffy brush. This is the Sigma E35. Just kidding, I'm taking my Morphe one. This is the Morphe M441. I like this crease brush because it's a little bit bigger and fluffier. And when I'm doing kind of like a smoked out supernatural look with this bronzer, I want a bigger brush. So I just go into the bronzer with my brush, make sure to tap it off. And then I just go into my crease all over my eye. I don't, I'm not like super specific with this. I just try and get some like really pretty color and dimension on there. Just kind of more for like a natural easy look this should not take any effort you just want to make sure you really blend this out because like i said it's pretty pigmented so it can get a little bit patchy in there since it's not technically an eyeshadow but if you just keep blending it out and i like to bring it pretty high up to my brow just very smoked and blown out i've been loving this trick and it makes just getting ready so much easier because i don't have to get out a palette i don't have to get anything out i'm just using the same bronzer that i used on my face and with that being said i think it also just brings the whole look together since you're using those same tones on your eyes and on your cheeks and stuff so next i'm going to take this morphe pencil brush this is the m431 again going right into that bronzer and smoking dragging this along my lower lash line i like to focus more of the color on the outer portion of my eye and then drag it inward all right now for brows i actually have a bunch of my brow products at my dad's house so i'm going to use what i have i have the benefits what is this? The Benefit Cabrow. I bought the like Desi Perkins set and I do really really like this. Normally with this look I wouldn't use the Cabrow. I would probably use the powder or something a little more natural. But since this is all I have here we're going to be using this. And I also have the Benefit Clear Brow Gel and the High Brow. So we're going to be doing our brows with this. The only thing I don't like about the Cabrow is that it doesn't have like a spoolie. So I need to find a spoolie to do my brush mount my brows. Alright, I'm just taking this random NYX brow pencil just to use the spoolie on the end. And I like to brush my brows out. I usually brush them upward. And that's just because I do my foundation first. So a lot of like foundation and makeup product gets in my brows. So I always like to brush them out first. Just kind of clean them up. Then I'm just going to take this Cabrow. This is in the shade 6. I think this is the darkest color they have. And it comes with a little brush. And I just fill in my brows. I'm going to speed through this just because it's kind of boring. I might do like a full brow routine if you guys want to see that. But Alright, now my brows are filled in. Like I said, that stuff is pretty dark and intense. I tried to be natural, but that didn't happen. Um, I'm going in with the 24-hour brow setter. This is just like a clear brow gel that holds them in. And I like to kind of brush them upward and give them that like hairier effect. I like that look so that's what we're doing here and I know my brows are looking very bold it's getting like dark outside so I'm sorry if the background keeps changing it is so frustrating filming in this time of year because it's never a nice out I'm trying to look for some better lighting as far as to like light up the background of my room so if you guys have any recommendations leave them down below for me for blush I'm going to go in with my favorite, you guys already know, Wet n Wild Mellow Wine. This is my holy grail. I still don't understand how I even have product in here. I'm going in with this Morphe E4 blush brush. I love this brush. And just applying this to my cheeks. 
Fun fact, blush is the fastest thing to fade on your face, so sometimes it's better to apply a little bit more as you get ready, and then it will slowly fade throughout the night or day. Highlights. I've been into liquid highlights lately. I just feel like it makes the highlight really look dewy and more like real, I guess, rather than a powder highlight. I've been taking the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is the shade in Opal. Um, I don't even know where I got this from. I think it's like a smaller size of it. I'm not exactly sure, but this is a great liquid highlight. I just put some on the back of my hand, and then I like to take my beauty sponge dab in there just a tiny, tiny bit. And first I'll go on my, the tip of my nose. And then up on my cheekbones, just tapping very gently. It's very easy to go overboard with this, so just be careful. But I feel like it just gives you more of like that fresh, wet look rather than just like highlighty look. So now to finish up our eyes, I think we just need to add mascara. So I'm going to curl my lashes. Just with a normal curling. I think this one's from Sephora. Yes, yeah, the Sephora brand one. And then once I grab it, I'm going to take my Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara from L'Oreal. This is just a tried and true great mascara. I'm going to use this on my top and lower lash line. Normally, I would use the Matt Giga Black Lash, but I think... Oh, wait, no, I have it. Never mind. I am going to use that. So I'm going to use this one on my top lashes, normal everyday mascara, and then I'm using my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash on my lower lash line because it has a smaller brush and this doesn't smudge on me. Okay, now for lips. I change my lips every day to be honest. It's just kind of whatever's in front of me as far as like a day-to-day -day thing. Let's see what we have here. You guys know my tried and true Milani 09 Spice Lip Liner. I'm definitely going to use this. I like to overline my cupid's bow and under here a little bit. And then for just a lip gloss over top. I'm using this MAC Signs of Spring lip gloss. I think it's like a lip glass. Um, and I'm just going to apply this everywhere. It's like a very pale nude color, but I think it's really, really pretty. So this is the completed makeup look. I think it's so pretty, bronzy, glowy, easy, simple. And yeah, I just love this. It's great for a night out. It's great for every day. It's great for work. Um, if you don't want to do something so full coverage, you could easily just do a BB cream, but then still do that like bronzy, glowy look, especially with the eyes. Yeah, I love it. It's just so easy. And I feel like, I feel like I'm in Baywatch. It's red. Bodysuit. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I chatted quite a bit. I can already tell this is going to be a very, very long video. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know down below what other makeup videos you guys want to see from me. Also, if you guys did not know, you guys can finally shop my merch now. And I'm doing one week of free shipping. So that ends next Monday. Um, so if you guys want to get yourself some merch and not have to pay for shipping, then click down below and you guys can pick some up right now. I hand package and hand hand deliver, not hand deliver. I wish I could hand deliver and show up at your house, but I hand package everything myself. So it's very custom and just for you guys. I love you guys so much and thank you for such a great year. I'm so excited for 2019 and yeah, I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye.